Swift, the great guy. Uh, Coach Darren Brady. This guy, uh, he played football, played Division One football. He's a, he's, a, he's a Hall of Famer at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Um, even more than that, he's a better man. He's a better father. Again, a better brother. So at this time, I, I would like to present and introduce Darren Brady.
children will grow a certain way, which causes their children to grow a certain way. We'll be dead and gone in our grave. But because you're a pillar in the community, because you're an outstanding young man, because you don't accept nothing but phenomenal, because you don't do nothing but the right thing all the time in every aspect of your life, your great, 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 great grandkids are going to walk like you walk. So, man, uh, in the classroom, and I'm not saying that you do, but we all know what happens. In the classroom, there's disruption. Don't let it be you. This is a brotherhood. Who went on a football field in here before? Raise your hand. Whose body was hurt because you've been on a football field before? Raise your hand. Who has continued to compete when their body was hurting and you've been on a football field before? That's a brotherhood. You see your brother out of pocket, you check. I didn't say you get physical. I didn't say you. That's your brother. You check. Why? Because he's got a common goal. He's got a common mission. Not only to win football games, but to grow to be successful businessmen, to be successful community men. The younger guys come along, and they don't know, they got to learn. When you see him, man, what is number 45 in the room? Man, that guy's a football player. That guy's a football player. So now, what grade are you in, sir? Sophomore. See, he's a young guy. He's goofy. <laughs> <laughs> we all were goofy in sophomore. So I'm not calling you out. But all I'm saying is, here's the deal. If there are nine people in the room who do not go to class on time, and that's who you hang with, guess what? You're the 10th member of the club. You don't go to class on time. Now, if there's nine 45s in the room, and you lock on to what the other nine 45s are doing, making plays, interceptions, highlight tape, going to college, high ACT score, high GPA, guess what? You don't attend the club. Simple. Grow to win, you got to be willing to pay the price to win. And it's simple, because if you're willing to, uh, 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 this, well, I, he said I could do it this way. This is a scripture that I love to work with. And what the scripture says is, how much ever you measure out, is how much you measure back. What does that mean? <coughs> if you give up a little bit, you halfway do your workouts, you halfway do your homework, you halfway respect your parents, you're going to get halfway back. If you all out, ball to the wall, 100% about getting to college, 100% about being a respectful member of the community, 100% about walking the hallways and being a leader, guess what? You're 100% return. So hopefully something I said today encouraged somebody. Hopefully something I said today will cause the sophomores who are now are really technically officially juniors, because we don't have but a few more weeks, to start growing and locking in. Any questions before I go? Sir, offensive line, center guard and tackle. We just got inducted into the Howard University Hall of Fame, the 1987 MEAC Championship team got inducted to the 1987, I mean, uh, was it 2014? class in the Howard University Hall of Fame. But because wow. of what I do is so important to me, I stay here to coach that weekend. Wow. Yes, sir. Why you go up? Because I didn't have the mindset or the discipline that was required for me to go to the next level. How long ago was that? That was in 1987. 1986, 1987, 1988. See, because here's the deal. You only going to learn by asking. Everybody got a question. Silliest and funniest, most dominating man I know. So you know what he calls me? Uncle Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Phil. Count me. <laughs> Why am I saying that with you? Man, I got nothing but love. I go to war with that guy anywhere in this universe. What I care about him calling me Uncle Phil. I'm serving great here. So. 
not going to allow nobody to say to me, well, you were lame or you were goofy. I'm not going to allow somebody to cause me to come off my square and be distracted. Because if I got to stand solo till death do us part, because you ain't getting on my boat, so be it. So they laughing and giggling because you got questions? Man, keep asking. Anybody else? 